Howdy, lads and lassies, and happy, happy new year, everybody. Today we're talking about, today we're talking about New Year's resolutions, okay? And this is gonna be like a multi-video series. I'm gonna talk about kind of my different New Year's resolutions, and I'm not, okay, so like, I don't necessarily like believe in New Year's resolutions, but I just thought it would be a fun thing. I do have some goals for, uh, you know, for, for 2023, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've got goals in shooting, I've got goals in fitness, I've got goals in hunting, a lot of goals in hunting. Uh, and I'm going to start making videos this whole week long about just kind of my New Year's resolutions. And the very first one we're going to talk about is fishing. My fishing goals for 2023, things I want to get better at, things I'm, I'm hoping to accomplish and achieve. And uh, having said that, let's get into the video. Here we go. All right, so my fishing goals for this year. Goal number one, I want to break my PB. I didn't break my PB this year. Having said that, I caught more five and six pound fish this year than, than all, all the years I fished put together. Honestly, I had an amazing year fishing and I, I just really, I became a better fisherman. I caught a lot more fish and I think a lot of that is due to the baits I used, but also a lot of the time I put on the water. I fished at least four to five days a week um, this whole year because I've got this lake in my new house here that that's really close to my house and I got friends that I go fishing with and they're some of my my closest friends and you know like hanging out with the guys like I can after work cruise down there real quick get the lines wet and I really had a lot of luck this year with swim baits I I caught a lot of swim bait fish this year and Got really into flipping too, and caught a lot of fish flipping, and you've probably seen some of the videos. If you haven't, I'll put one right here, or here. It's on one of these sides. So my goal this year is, or one of my goals this year, I've got a couple, is to catch a PB. And I haven't broke my PB yet in a while. The very first fish I caught on a swim bait, or a large bait, I should say, was the day I bought a Johnny Rat. <laughs> my friend Ryan talked me into buying it from Angler's Marine. What's up, Ryan? Uh, that guy was like, buy this. You're buying this. I'm like, what the heck am I buying this for? I took it to Eisenhower Park, and within like 15 minutes, I caught a 6.8 pound fish, and that is still currently my PB. I've caught a whole bunch of sixes this year. None of them have been over 6.8 which kind of blows me away because I've caught some large fish this year and it's like, didn't make sense. I'm like, that looks way bigger than the fish I caught, but it, you know, can't call them a PB. So how am I going to do that? Well, I've got a few baits here. I'm going to show you guys. And the first bait is a bait that I have recently become obsessed with. And it is the Roman made mother. This is the Roman made mother right here. It is a, let's see here. It's a 300 gram, I think it's about 10 ounces, just over 10 ounces. It's like 12 inches long. It is a huge, massive, massive bait. I have fished one of these before. I fell in love with it. I absolutely loved fishing it. Uh, I've got the right setup. I've got that F5 extra, extra heavy, which is rated, I think, four to 12 ounce rod. And I've got the Calcutta Conquest DC with 30 pound line on it. And I'm sending this one. The reason this one's still in the package and not been fished yet is because this is going to my friend Bass Jack on Instagram, B-A-S-S-J-A-K on Instagram. He's like a brilliant painter and he's going to paint this bait for me in one of his beautiful rainbow trout colors. And I plan on throwing this bait a ton, a ton this year. Uh, probably starting around the end of January and, and moving on, which hopefully I'll have the bait back by then. Another bait I plan on throwing a lot this year that I've never caught a fish on is the DRT Clash 9. The DRT K9. This bait, uh, you know, any of you swim bait guys out there or just fishermen in general, you know about this bait. You know what it is. And I got it in this color. And I'm not sold on the color. And Bass Jack said he would paint this for me as well. And he's going to do kind of a matching trout, like a one-two punch. So what I really like about the Clash 9 is it's in this package backwards. Look, What I like about this Clash 9 is the way I'm kind of able to work it uh, in tight and close around docks. 
So, and around cover and whatnot. So at my local lake, we've got a lot of tule lines and we have a dock there, a lot of little points that I can kind of work past. And, and when those fish move up a bit tighter, especially closer to like pre-spawn spawn time, I wanted something with a little more reaction. And uh, the K9, I've, I've fallen in love with fishing with this thing. I have two of these. Uh, I have a Joy Thief K9 from Swimbait Underground, but that is getting painted in this awesome shad pattern by my friend Matt Dennison right now. But I'm gonna have Bass Jack paint this one as well. He's gonna do an awesome trout paint job to it for me. And I uh, plan on fishing that a ton, especially up in Arrowhead, uh, where we have a lot of docks and such. So kinda gonna do these two as like a one-two punch, the mother and the K9. Honorable mention and something I've been throwing and I've thrown, and if you haven't seen it, I do have a video uh, of fishing with this bait, but this is the Sly Guy Rainbow Trout. This is the Sly Guy uh, nine inch light trout, or I'm sorry, seven inch light trout. He makes a nine inch, and I'm definitely gonna buy that when they become available again, but you can see I've done the PE, I've done the, uh, I'll try to, get the camera to focus. I've done the PE line setup here and uh, I've got good, strong, working class zero hooks on it. And I'm gonna fish this a ton as well. I have fished this in Arrowhead. I caught a small mouth on one and I knew I needed to retie and I went to lunch and I forgot to retie and the very first cast I launched the thing off. Now having said that, I'm a free diver. I can dive deep. And where it snapped off, it's only about 15 feet deep. So when the water warms up a little bit, I'm gonna go back there and with my mask and snorkel and fins, and I'm gonna do some free diving. And I'm gonna see if I can't find this bait again. But he did a drop of these back in December. I bought another one and I'm just kind of saving this guy for when, uh, you know, for when our fish start really kind of eating trout. So. Uh, I am also, I have been throwing a Savage Gear Pulse Tail. Uh, I have Huddlestons as well. I like the Savage Gear. More importantly, especially at my current lake, I like the price of the Savage Gear. If I break one off or lose one, I can go on Amazon and order one and it's here next day. Uh, and it's already rigged up with that tail hook. I don't have it with me right now because it's tied onto my rod downstairs and I started this video without grabbing it. Whoops, sorry about that. So those are kind of two of my larger swim baits I plan on throwing uh, this kind of pre-spawn into the spawn. And then around the spawn into post-spawn, I'm going back to this guy. Now this bait right here, this is my bread and butter bluegill bait. I caught, I caught over 20 plus fish on this bait right here this year for sure. This is the Sly Guy bluegill, the six inch bluegill. And I, I and it's just one of those, I just kept catching fish with it. Like when other people couldn't catch fish, I was catching fish on it. it any of, all of my friends were just like, what is with that bait? And I have a bunch of videos of me catching fish with this bait, go check them out. Um, you'll hear guys in the background just like, that bait is beeping amazing. And it, it, it really is. This bait has caught me a lot of fish this year and I, I've got three of them now. I've bought a bunch of them. Every time I can get my hands on one, I get my hands on one and I buy it. And I'm happy with three. <laughs> Lord, hopefully I won't lose all those. But um, you know, every bait, like I know the mother's expensive, but every bait I buy, I just kind of think to myself, like I'm willing to lose this. Uh, but there are things that I can do to, uh, to make that, you know, not as, uh, not as often. So especially with the mother, there's gonna only be certain times I throw that, certain places I throw that. Maybe in lakes and in areas where I know I can go and recover that. At my local lake here, there's a couple places I can throw it where I feel confident I could go, go in and get it back, especially because the one I fished rigged up, it floated. It had this barely just super slow, low float to it, but it did float. But, uh, it, it would dive down to about two feet on the glide, which, which I was more than happy with, especially on my local lake. So some coves, some creeks, areas like that, I feel confident throwing it, but out to the middle, no, I'm not gonna throw a $400, $500 bait with a custom paint job on it uh, out there, just YOLO style. Now on boats with my friends at Lake Arrowhead where I can jump in the water at any time and go retrieve a bait, which I don't mind freezing my tush off to get that bait. Um, I'll have more confidence throwing it there. But the Sly Guy, 
This will be permanently tied on to my tequila backer rack with 16 pound fluoro all year come probably right around the spawn time. Uh, I'm not a bed fisherman. It's just not something I'm into. All my friends do it. That's cool. I sit there and watch them do it. It just doesn't really get me excited, but throwing in areas where there is beds, this is a, this is a clutch, clutch bluegill bait for me. The second one is last year, and I'll throw some photos up. I had an unbelievable year fishing this right here. This is my PB rat. This is my two piece PB rat. You can see I've got a feather that I tied on there. I know it's not great. You know, I'm not a great feather tire, but I have watched bass at Arrowhead. I was up high on a dock and I saw this bass come out. He flared up on it and he just went boop, and just picked this little hook and he was hooked. These are good, sharp owner uh, 3X hooks on it. And, and I had that fish and I yanked him all the way up that, uh, that huge dock. So the PB rat throwing around nighttime, like kind of that seven o'clock in Lake Arrowhead or here at, uh, at my local lake. Um, that's like a magic time for top water and nighttime fishing with this rat this year was absolutely unbelievable. I had nights where I caught, you know, over 10 fish on the rat. I did buy a three piece this year and I do have some other rats I'm going to try this year as well as some other winged baits. The kind of my, my one, two, three punch, uh, for nighttime fishing this year was starting off with the brown PB rat and depending on the moon, like if there was no moon, I would throw this black triple trout rat that I have. And they seem to like that when there was no moon. And then if those weren't getting bit, I would switch to a wing bait and same thing. It was kind of a one, two punch on the wing bait. I was either getting bit on the mega bass eye wing or the depths NZ crawler, the big black one that I have. Uh, and if those weren't working, which only happened two times, I started throwing the DRT Joker and that thing, I had some nights on that where it's, nothing would work, but throw the Joker out there and I just started getting lit. So uh, I do really want to do a lot more night fishing this year, uh, you know, with, uh, it kind of works out well with my kids' schedule, my wife's schedule, everybody's kind of in bed by, you know, eight, nine o'clock. And uh, I'm that kind of weirdo that doesn't go to sleep until like one o'clock in the morning and sleeps for four or five hours. So. My, my sleep habits are bad, but I don't need a lot of sleep to, uh, to function. So <clears throat> want to spend more time, especially locally here at night, throwing the rat when it's legal, which I've got one lake here that I can go fish at nighttime where it's, it's, it's not a problem. The park's not closed or anything. So plan on definitely doing a lot more night fishing with the rat. So that's kind of what I'm hoping. Those are the baits I'm hoping to use to catch that PB. The other thing I really want to work on this year more is my finesse fishing. I used to love finesse fishing. It, I was just a small line guy and, and a, a spinning reel and I have a really great spinning rod. I got the uh, Mega Bass Windbuster last, no, yeah, a year and a half ago now. Kind of fell in love with, you know, figured out how to fish a drop shot and then I got over the drop shot and I got into big baits and whatnot. But Right now, especially at my local lake, like just today, I caught my very first fish on a Ned Rig. So I was stoked about, because I've never caught a fish on a Ned Rig, which everybody's like, you're insane. It's like the easiest bait to catch fish on. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. I never caught one with it. Of course, I haven't fished it that much. But today I was fishing it around with my NRX and boom, got a good little fish. So a couple of the baits I, I want to work on more this year was a bait I discovered from a buddy and this is the Huddleston Craw. This is the hut, I think it's called the Hudbug. And it's from Huddleston, it's on their website. You can buy these. I just ordered these things. Now, the rigging of these, I kind of came up with my own rigging because I was looking for it to be a little more weedless than it was. And the way I had friends say they fished this, and the only way I'd seen guys fish it online was kind of nose hooking it. and. I don't want to do that at my local lake because we got snags everywhere. But this is how I ended up fishing it, just like this right here. So this is a number two bellows hook. And this, this is the hook right here. And I have it kind of rigged in through, um, through the butt end here of the craw and then coming up and just kind of texposing it right here. This bait just started getting bit last week when 
all of us. I mean, we, we until literally today, when a few of my friends caught fish today, it was great. I think we had a little change. Like, I think we found a pattern maybe. Um, nobody was catching fish. And I would always grab one on this little HUD bug. So I've gone out and I've bought a whole bunch of these things now. Oh, now they're falling all over the place. And uh, I got a whole box of them now. Plan on definitely using these a ton this year and just kind of working on my finesse fishing. I have a uh, NRX Plus medium uh, casting rod with an Aldebaran 10 pound floor on it. That's kind of turning, kind of taking the place of the spinning rod. That rod just can cast anything and it's so sensitive. And I really enjoy fishing finesse with that rod, even over my spinning rod. The other thing I want to work on that I just started working on today was, uh, was throwing these little guys, these little Ned rigs right here. Um, I want to throw these Neds a bunch this year, especially right now in the winter time, kind of, kind of doing like a one, two punch with it where, you know, I, I might, uh, throw the big swim baits. And then when I get tired, have that NRX plus right next to me and be able to just take a break and throw, throw the Ned rig out, uh, throw the drop shot out. But, uh, this Ned rig thing's fun. I was having fun with it today and the bite was awesome. Like he, he hammered the thing and it was a great fish. Um, and I've, I'm using these, uh, weedless heads here. I just bought some of them today. Let's see if I can show you. These are the, the Z man, um, weedless Ned heads. And they're really cool. I, don't, I hope you guys can see this here. But this is the Weedless Ned Head from Z-Man. I saw these today at Turner's, bought a pack of them, and no problem getting through. I do want to try this head with that little craw as well, just to give it a little weight. But um, the, the thing fished great. Didn't get stuck at all. Didn't lose any baits today which is a miraculous thing when you're fishing the bottom at my current local lake. <laughs> so that's my two goals. That is my, uh, that is my, my new year's resolution for fishing is get better at finesse fishing, start learning some new baits, learning some new techniques, uh, finesse fishing, but also I, uh, I, I'm, you know, go push for bigger fish, just fish for bigger fish. Be okay getting skunked some days. You know, it's hard when your boys are, you know, throwing a bunch of small top water and they're horsing, you know, three, four fish in front of you. And you're sitting there with a giant bait, you're getting exhausted. And, uh, it's definitely tiring throwing these big baits, especially the mother around. Uh, I've spent four days on a mother already. And like, it's, it's a workout. It is a work out but uh that's what you got to do that's what i feel like i need to do to get the bigger bites here at some of our local lakes and uh that's i'm committing to it this year getting better with the canine the mother and then uh the sly guy as well uh kind of depending on where i'm fishing so that's the video guys hope you like it like and subscribe hit that bell because next we've got hunting goals We've got fitness goals. We've got um, shooting goals, some big shooting goals this year, which I've already talked about in a couple of videos. But, um, you know, much more to come. God bless you guys. See you on the next one. Boom.